everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing really well. Today I am going to share with you a few things that I've been absolutely loving. Everyone's stuck at home. Let's just share the things that we like so maybe we can get some inspiration. So yeah, let's get right into this. Right, the first thing that I want to mention is one thing that in my household we are using 24-7. Um, and that's because A, it's really dry outside and B, because we've been washing our hands and sanitizing our hands so much that honestly my hands are literally they feel like cardboard so to combat that um, I want to share a cream um, to do that I'm using this these days this is the astral cream now this is not new this is has been the market for years and I know a lot of people are probably use this every day anyway my husband uses this on his face because he's got really dry skin and I have now started using this on my hand it is intensive like it is an intensive moisturizer that's for sure there's another one there's another version that's come up with uh, that they have come up with which is like a coconut one um, I haven't used that I'm not really sure how effective that is or if that coke the addition of coconut makes a difference but this is the original one uh, it's a huge huge pot you've got loads and let me try this out if you haven't already you can get this anywhere all the all the supermarkets the grocery stores um pharmacy everywhere and this is an absolute absolute gem the second thing i want to mention is also related to hands um and it's this so my cuticles are very very dry um and this is the sally hansen vitamin e um vitamin e nail and cuticle oil so it's a very small bottle as you can see but to be honest you don't need a lot i've nearly used about 70 percent of it i'm still i'm still using this um and i cannot live without this i have this on my nightstand i use it every single night i use it in the morning or whenever i'm working i find and i realize that my nails need some tlc i put this on you just dab this it's got it comes with a brush so just brush this onto your cuticles and rub it in and it literally disappears you don't feel any oiliness it literally my cuticles soak this up they literally drink this up with a straw <laughs> it is hilarious but honestly this is one of the best things i've used for my cuticles and if you suffer from dry cuticles as well definitely go and get this again i got this from from boots but i'm sure you can get this from any other grocery. thing i want to the next thing i want to mention is one that again has been firm favorites with so many people but i'm very late to the party um and it's the clinique take the day off so this one is actually the cleansing oil <clears throat> it also comes in a cleansing balm which is in like a pot that you can scoop out um, rub in your hands it becomes like a really thick oil and then you can use that on top the one I have is obviously oil I still have slightly uh, definitely a few more um, users left but honestly if you've ever used this you will agree with me this is an absolute godsend it takes your makeup makeup off in like a second so you can use this um, so you, you take the like take a pump put it on your dry face massage it around and then add wet your fingers massage it around again just to emulsify it becomes like a really white creamy um cleanser and then either you can wash your face off or just wipe it off it both ways if i'm feeling lazy i just wipe it off and then i go to bed or if i'm in the mood to do <laughs> some tlc to my skin then i definitely add um this i wipe it off i wash it off and then i, I do a double cleanse so to be honest, you don't really need a double cleanse for this. You can absolutely just use this and you'll be good to go. The next thing that I want to mention is um, very similar to this one. It's fairly new to me, um, but again, I'm very late to the party and I now understand completely why people are going absolutely gaga over this. Um, and it's the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. I'm sure you would have seen this a whole lot in every other video and I'm very late to the party. But honestly, this is a miracle in a bottle. It is absolutely beautiful. I have actually used this quite a lot, but somehow it still feels very full. Again, you don't need a lot. You need this tiniest bit. Again, exactly the way you use the Clinique cleanser. You can use it on your face as a dry, a dry cleanser with your makeup on, or you can use it like a normal face wash and then use it um, as a as a second cleanse after you've taken your makeup off. This is very, very good, especially for this weather because it's very, very clean. Uh, it's very, very creamy uh, because it's very, very moisturizing and doesn't feel take. 
it doesn't make your face feel tight or over overly cleaned if that's if that's a phrase um, and it really does really help with any dryness any dry patches that you have on your skin I usually get some dry patches sometimes along my um, cheek and around my nose for some odd reason so this takes care of all of that you can use this with a face uh, face cloth as well or you can use it as like I said a double cleanse as a face wash so definitely check this out if you haven't they do have a smaller version so you can use a small, smaller version first to check this out and yeah and then go ahead with the big one once you fall in love with it which you absolutely will second thing I want to mention is um, not the kind of way everyone uses it but anyway <laughs> it's um, baby oil so this is obviously the tiny teeny version again I've got some left I do need to buy another one I think I've got one more travel size one but yeah it's now baby oil is used in loads of different things people use this to take off the makeup people use this for um, waterproof to taking taking off waterproof mascara the way I use this is I am actually very lazy and when I come out of the shower um, I want to I don't want to basically spend the next 15 minutes putting cream all over my body that's just I'm I, I will not do that so instead what I do is once I am I'm done with my shower I take some baby baby oil in my hands and I literally just put it from head to toe while my skin is still wet what that does it doesn't give because it's very very light it doesn't give you it, it doesn't give your body a very oily feeling instead what happens is when it's the <clears throat> And once the water evaporates, the water and the, and the oil, they mix together on your skin and it's not as oily. So you literally come out of the shower already moisturised, which is the absolute dream at the moment. Now moving on to some makeup bits. Um, I've had, I don't have, surprisingly I don't have a lot, but anyway, I will. Um, I, I knew I would have some, some or the other. So the first thing that I want to mention is this palette from Smashbox. It's the Cover Shot Dessert Palette. Um, desert palette eyeshadow palette so this is what it looks like it is an absolute beautiful palette so these are so we've got some greens over here some dark colors here so like warm color and then you've got um, a golden highlighter kind of shade here and then um, a cool toned uh, almost like a biscuity brown color these are absolutely beautiful if you've seen my videos before you would know that I'm absolutely in love with the Smashbox palettes and I've got so 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 many of them I think I've nearly got all of them to be honest even the ones that are um, special editions so all limited editions so this one actually is really really beautiful I'll do some swatches for you if you like again very soft very pigmented um, and you don't need a lot at all when you're doing them now this is I literally just dipped my finger in very slightly and you can see how much color has come off it is absolutely beautiful they stay they are a dream to blend I've got them on my eyes as well today and yeah I absolutely love them um, people who haven't had who haven't tried Smashbox palettes please go and try them you will not be disappointed the next thing that I want to mention is one that I actually lost a few days ago and then I realized that I found it so I was very happy um, and it's the fit me matte and poreless fa um, face powder the color I have is 105 it also comes in translucent which obviously you can you're welcome to use but I just use this for because it just gives me an extra that extra bit of coverage if I need it especially under my eyes so again it's very very finely milled it's a beautiful finish it, I'm wearing it today as well I use this every single day and I think this is my second one I lost it in between I think it was in some of my bags and I don't remember where it was and right when I was thinking of buying a new one I found this luckily it also comes with a really really nice sized mirror um, there was like a brush or like a sponge in here which I threw away I never used that anyway so Again, this has been a firm favourite for so many people. If you still haven't tried it, please do. Again, you will not be disappointed. Next thing I want to mention, again, is not is a fairly new one, but I've liked it so much. 
that I want to mention it. Um, it's the professional Benefit Professional Pearl Primer. Now I've got the small one with me at the moment. I don't have the big one yet. But again, you don't need a lot of it, so you don't really need. You, this will not run out very quickly. Um, I have it on my face at the moment as well. Now the way I use this is I just use it on the high points of my face. So I only use it where I would use a prime, uh, um, a highlighter, and and then I just put on my makeup as usual and to be honest it actually gives a really nice sheen to your face you don't really need a highlighter if you're using this if you use this all over your face that's the kind of look you're going for or your skin agrees with that then absolutely go ahead I do get a very very um, oily t-zone after a few hours so I tend to stay away from these kind of primers especially along my t-zone but all over but my my cheeks my forehead around somewhere like around here around my cheeks i absolutely love this and again if you're using it only on the high points of your cheeks then you definitely will not need a lot so do try this out if you haven't already just get the small one try it out if you don't like it you know it doesn't really matter and uh, but i do know that you will definitely definitely like this it does have a slight pinky texture to it and it is oil free now the last thing in the makeup category that I want to share with you is again one thing that I'm already wearing as well um, and it is the Fenty Beauty Gloss. The, the, so this one is the Fenty Glow Gloss Bomb. Again these have been raved about. I'm wearing this on top of my lipstick today and it is such a dream. It does have a slight colour to it but when you add it on top of lipstick it doesn't really show. So it has like a really nice sheen to it. Now, if you know, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you will know I'm not a glossy person. I don't like glosses and I don't wear them as often. I don't buy them as often, but this is the one gloss that I bought and I absolutely loved. So I'm actually really glad that I bought this. They've got two more colors, obviously that you can see. There's one like a more whitish one. Uh, one that is I think slightly lighter than this one. I think this is the darkest one But to be honest if you wear this on its own and even on top of lipsticks It doesn't really matter what you what you're wearing underneath. It's absolutely beautiful It's really nice and also it's not sticky which is why I liked it because the glosses The reason why I don't really wear glosses because I don't find them very uncomfortable But right now I'm wearing it and it's not at all sticky see very very nice very comfortable and absolutely beautiful what kind of favorites would your video would this be if i did not mention a perfume <laughs> so uh, the perfume i want to mention this month is this from dng again i've nearly used all of this up um this is the now i will not pronounce i will not even try to pronounce this name so please just read the name from here if you can um i will just call this dng number three perfume uh, this is uh, the biggest, I think this only comes in one size, so this is, I think it's 90ml, no it's 100ml, oh it smells absolutely divine, it smells like, I'll put some on right now, it smells like, um, a bit like amber, figs, and then slightly fresh, so it's a combination of a fresh and deep one, this actually would be really good in like springtime because where you have slightly colder nights but you have really nice sunny days um, I actually use this every single day even before going to bed I know I am that kind of freak who wears perfume to bed please don't judge me I like to smell nice when I'm going to bed um, so this is my like my nighttime perfume but I do use this every single day as well when I wake up I put this on if I'm just going if I'm just running errands I put this on which is why I probably used all of it in a very very short time but I would absolutely absolutely buy this again if I if I um when I run out of this and it's not very expensive I got it on sale from Boots so definitely keep an eye out because they usually have this on sale on Boots so you will definitely get this on a much lower price than normal. The last thing I want to mention is a very personal thing. I say this because you can't really buy it. Um, and it was actually a gift from my niece. And it is this. So if my sister is watching, please can you show this to her? Um, she actually made this small pillow for me. She sewed it herself um, with her tiny little small um, sewing machine and she put my name on top of it um, and this is always on my bed 
with the rest of my big normal sized pillows I'll put a picture here somewhere for you so you can see what it looks like on the bed um, and I literally just absolutely love this I always have this on my bed whenever after I make it and I put it next to my on my sofa right before I'm going to bed so yeah I think this is my absolute favorite um, it's very soft and you know it's, it's got my name on it and it's hand sewn so what could be more lovely than this so thanks a lot for this Isha and that's the end of all of my favorites I hope you guys like this please do give this a big big thumbs up please subscribe because that would make the world of difference to me and I'll see you guys next time bye